Now on for the unrepeatable Who Dares Wins with some unseasonal thoughts. Should the unthinkable ever happen, what can you do to survive the disaster? When you hear the warning, you and your family must seek shelter. The warning will sound like this. There's a feast of entertainment this Christmas on BBC One. When you hear this warning, take shelter. Preferably in a coal cellar or a toilet with a strong lock. And look out for the symptoms of Christmas. Dizziness, nausea, Chaz and Dave. More nausea. And turning orange from Satsuma poisoning. And remember, anyone who has come into contact with a Giles Brandreth Christmas joke book is contaminated <laughs> and must be shot. Survive Christmas. Turn Muslim now. Brightman was rushed to hospital with severe shock. Doctors say they suspect Andrew Lloyd Webber took his paper bag off. <laughs> Later on, we'll be looking at the very latest military technology, the highly sophisticated intelligent missile that will only attack Swansea. First of all, it's our career spot. And tonight, we're looking at the profession of the television cameraman. And we're very lucky tonight because in the studio we have Dennis Simpson, a very celebrated film television cameraman. Now, Dennis, you've filmed in all the world's trouble spots, Belfast, Beirut. What would you say do you need to be a television film cameraman? Well, Julia, you need intelligence, experience and an old plimsoll. <laughs> Plimpsoll? Yes, uh, a child's plimpsoll, a uh, bit tattered, uh, like this one. Um, why, why do you need a plimpsoll? Well, you see, Julie, by, by the time uh, you get to film the site of, say, a huge bombing, the rescue squads have usually cleared away all the gory stuff, uh, and all that's left is a huge pile of rubble, which doesn't really mean very much at all. But if you place a child's <laughs> plimpsoll on top of it, suddenly the whole thing visually has great stimulus and meaning. See? In, uh, in fact, uh, I've already won seven major awards with this. Really? Uh, does it have to be a plimpsoll? No, 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 a blood-stained teddy bear. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> or else uh, uh, a rubber hand like this one with some makeup on looks very effective uh, poking up through the rubble. Um, not very suitable for John Craven's news round, but uh, anything on Channel 4, it's just, just, just great. Fascinating. Well, uh, later on, Dennis will be showing us how to make Derek Hatton look sneaky by shining a very bright light in his face. The amazing journey of the sperm on its hazardous trek towards its ultimate goal, the ovum, the female's egg. Millions make this journey, but only one will complete it. Saturday night, sperm night. <laughs> They'll all be in here in a minute shouting, let me in, let me in! <laughs> Annoying little bastards. <laughs> I preferred it when she wore a diaphragm. Up they'd swim, stupid grins on their faces, then bang! <laughs> straight back out with concussion. Oh, hello. Oh, here comes one now. Looks like a right pushy little bleeder. Hi there. 
I've arrived. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. No. I'm a bit of sperm. Yes, you are, aren't you? Right, so, where do I get in? You don't. Hey, come on. I'm so like the clappers to get up here. <laughs> At least you can do is let me in, for God's sake. Yeah, but it's not just a case of letting you in, giving you a cup of coffee and then goodbye, is it? You get in, you make yourself at home, I start subdividing, and the next thing we know, we're being slapped on the arse by some git in a white coat. No, 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 please. I mean, if I don't get in, in about 45 seconds, I'll snuff it. Well, you should have thought of that before you came shooting out of that big thing down there. <laughs> well, it's not so big now, is it? Mm. Well, shouldn't you? Look, I don't get a choice in the matter, you know. In my game, when you've got to go, you've got to go. There's no vote on it. It's just, hello, then whoosh, you're out. <laughs> so please, go on, just let us in. No. Look, you won't get any better than me, you know. You should see the state of some of them coming up there. <laughs> Heads all bashed in, tails hanging off. <laughs> I mean, if one of them gets in, there's no telling what might pop out in about nine months' time. Probably a, a DJ or a Belgian. Well, it's all academic. Because <laughs> in about 20 seconds' time, you're just going to be another embarrassing understain. You know what this is? <laughs> this is spermicide. It's spermicide. Spermicide? Yeah. She hasn't used that since the unfortunate toothpaste incident. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. God, I'm going. Please. Please let me in. No. I'm too young to die. Ten, nine, please. All life is sacred. Eight, you wait till Victoria Gillick hears about this. Six, oh, please. Think what humanity might five, miss. I could be another Einstein. Four, or a Mozart. Hmm? Or even maybe a Derek Jameson. Bye. Oh, <laughs> Fears for President Reagan's sanity increase as he tries to blame the Iran scandal on his teddy bear. <laughs> oh, and here's a message for motorists who use the new stretch of the M25 which Mrs. Thatcher opened last Wednesday. Why didn't you run her over when you had the chance? <laughs> Hello, darling. I'm sorry I'm late. Why are you sitting in the dark? You know, don't you? <sighs> I don't know why I thought I could hide it from you. <laughs> Christ. It must have been stupid. You know me better than I know myself. Perhaps that was the trouble. I felt possessed. And along came Tom, and he was my escape route, I suppose. I... No, please, let me finish, Gerald. I... I love him, you see. I... When I'm with him, I'm the real me. We... we laugh, we talk, we make love. I... Sex is, is perfect. I want a divorce. finished. What have you got to say? Dummies, driven by the intelligent. It's done. Hurry. I should only be.
be a couple of days. Take care. Ciao. NatWest has opened more doors with more money for more people than any other bank. And this year, NatWest has more than £2 billion to lend to home buyers. So if you want a mortgage with no fuss, no arrangement fees, and no waiting, there's no place like NatWest. Whatever you want from NatWest, press for action. competition we want you to complete the following sentence I like Bonnie Langford because <laughs> now it's not an easy one um, answers on a postcard please and as a prize the winner will receive 10 years worth of free psychiatric treatment <laughs> next thank you enjoy your burger next I'd like uh, too slow next uh, but I'd like Still uh, too slow next I'd like a hamburger please good that's better this is a fast food establishment Fine. thank you next uh, excuse me. Finish. Do come again. Next. Hang on. Next. My hamburger. There you are. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Look, can I go and sit down somewhere? Sit down? Yes. Over there. Next. Enjoy your burger. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. You had 20 seconds. Okay, friend. That's 20 seconds you've had and still you haven't eaten that burger. So eat it. I said, eat it. Good. Now get out. Have a nice day. And now news just in from Los Angeles, California, where Frank Sinatra has gone into hospital for an operation to remove several large malignant Italians from his past. <laughs> And after a serious breach of police regulations, 67 senior officers have been suspended for reading a book. It's very easy to knock, isn't it? Later on in the show, we'll be what looking at... It's very easy to knock the police, isn't it? It's very right on, man. No wonder there's so much crime about. It's a lawless society we're living in, you know. Anyway, later on in the oh, show... Oh, we'll... just because your car got broken into. That's nothing to do with it. Just because you had a cassette stolen. Two cassettes, actually. Well, don't worry, Rory, because you're bound to get them back. No one's going to be able to offload Steel Eye Span in 1986. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point, is it, Julie? The point is that crime stalks the streets. I blame that programme, uh, what's it called, where they reenact crimes. Crime and Watch. S crime Watch, that's right. Why is it that people only ever report crimes that are featured on Crime Watch? <laughs> I was watching it the other day and somebody phones up and says... Hello, Crime Watch. About that stabbing in Stepney three weeks ago. I saw that. It happened just on my doorstep. Yeah. I didn't like to report it at the time. I thought I'd wait till it crops up on your show. <laughs> yes, then I can talk to that nice Nick Ross. I like him, yes. Oh, by the way, I saw a man in the bank with a sawn-off shotgun. Oh, dear, that must have been a two years ago now. And while I remember, he just shot somebody right in the express till. You're so paranoid, Rory. I'm not paranoid, Julia. Where's my pen? I definitely came onto the set with a pen. I did. 
It's one of you lot, isn't it? <laughs> it's one of you lot, isn't it? It's one of you lot, isn't it? What are you using cigarette? Come on. Yeah, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. On your seat. No, on your seat. Get on your seat. Get on your seat. No, no. no. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is really embarrassing. You can't just Somebody has definitely got my pet. Is that it? No. Not... <laughs> 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 I'm really sorry. It's bigger than that. Um... <laughs> I used to have a shirt like that. That is my shirt. That is definitely my shirt. You know that's your shirt. Because whenever I wore it, people used to say, Rory, why are you wearing that ridiculous shirt? <laughs> he was young and handsome and in love. She was young and beautiful and in love. They were destined for each other's arms, but one inescapable truth kept them apart. They were in different fields. <laughs> the severe weather has brought further disruption to the afternoon's football fixtures, and the pools panel will again be in session. Elsewhere on the roads... So it's agreed then, Aston Villa versus Luton, Home win. Uh, right. <laughs> well, this is a difficult one. Everton versus Arsenal. Ooh. Uh, it's got to be a draw. Yeah. Score or no score? Well, Everton have got a very strong attack, but uh, Arsenal are very strong at the back this year. Mm. Yeah. So nil nil, Ted? Nil nil. <laughs> nil nil. Nil nil. Six nil. <laughs> Pardon? Six nil. To Everton. To Georgie Graham's red and white army. <laughs> Six nil to Arsenal. The Gunners. <laughs> the go the Gunners. Gunners. Come in, you Gunners. <laughs> well, um, I'm sure that Arsenal could beat Everton at Highbury, but I think Six nil at Everton's a bit far fetched. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you what? You what? You what? You what? You what? <laughs> we got Charlie. We got Charlie. You ain't. You ain't. <laughs> Just put Everton Arsenal down as a no-score draw. Who's a wanker in the suit? Who's a wanker in the suit? Please, please! This is the headquarters of the Football League. I think this kind of behaviour is a little bit far-fetched. Now, Wimbledon at home to Liverpool. <laughs> a pretty safe away bet. I'd have think. thought so, yeah. <laughs> so, Liverpool to beat Wimbledon? Come on. Liverpool, the most perfect and complete football machine. Mm. The greatest goal-scoring outfit the world has ever known. Mm. So they'd beat Wimbledon? On their day, they probably would. <laughs> but I'm afraid, gentlemen, today is not their day. 3-1 <laughs> to Wimbledon. Oh, don't be ridiculous! <laughs> Look, nine times out of ten, I'd agree with you. Liverpool, easy winners, right? But the way I see it, young John Fashion, who has a blinder for the Dons, scores two and lays on a third for little Dennis Wise, helped, of course, by the erratic goalkeeper of Bruce Grobbler. Oh, <laughs> rubbish! John Fashion, who wouldn't have that much room at the back, not with Alan Hansen marking him. Absolutely. Alan Hansen wouldn't have been playing. Why not? He's fit. Yeah. Kidnapped by Libyans on the way to the ground. Oh, <laughs> oh bloody hell. I mean, what would Libyans want with a Liverpool central defender? They got a very poor defence record, the Libyans. <laughs> God's sake, let's concentrate. Listen, oh, let's get dragged into this childish oh, fantasising. Wimbledon versus Liverpool. Will be a home win. Yes, all right. <laughs> Just your goal, mind you. And yeah. against a run of play. Oh. Yeah, how about they? Eh? Arsenal beating Everton 6 0. Meanwhile, the Dons are thrashing Liverpool, eh? Imagine <laughs> the headlines London trounce Merseyside. Yeah. Cockney Cockney's cock up cream of Merseyside. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> London lads piss on scouts bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, uh, everybody. <laughs> Home win to Wimbledon, then. Now, West Ham versus Man United. Oh, I think on current form we're talking easy, home win. Mm. Yep. United! <laughs> Robson soars the far post and bullets ahead into the top corner. Ah! Phil Parks out of nowhere. Leaps acrobatically to tip it over the bar. Turn it to the Three more games to get through now, please! Please! Sorry. <laughs> Stoke City versus Oldham. <coughs> now, anybody here support Stoke City? No. Anybody got a soft spot for Oldham? No. Right. 25-0 to Stoke City. <laughs> Many of you have written in to say how much you enjoy the theme tune to this programme, so you'll be glad to know that it's been set to words, and I'd like to sing it now, just for you. <laughs> Who cares wins, that's me. 
Cares wins. <laughs> you can't do it on the show. Why not? Well, well, A, it's exactly the kind of tacky exploitation the show we said we never, we, we never do. And B, it's crap. <laughs> what's, what's that got to do with it? It's, it's, it's just a spin off single, Jimmy. It doesn't have to be any good. Uh -huh. the, the important uh -huh. thing is to get it into the record shops, preferably on a shelf near the door. So if people come in in their lunch hour in a bit of a rush, think, what can I get Cousin Dave as a Christmas prezzy? Spot the record, think, oh, sod it, that'll do. And um, rush out of the shop 40 seconds later, having donated £4.99 to my bank balance. You become very cynical, Julia. <laughs> You're just jealous, because you can't see. It's not jealousy, it's the principle. Anyway, I can carry a tune. <laughs> you can carry a tune in a bucket. All right, all right. Sound like a right, girl right, with a hoodie. This, this is getting us nowhere. You can't <laughs> plug your tacky single on the show. OK, end of story. Phil. Later we'll be looking at Michael Winner's new vigilante film in which Charles Bronson plays an avenging food mixer which wipes out half of New York and that's called The Liquidizer. <laughs> <laughs> but now you've been a very special audience and, well, I'd like to sing this for you. <laughs> Anyone who cares can win But first you've got to care You gotta care, gotta care so you can win It's sorry. disgusting. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Can I just apologise? Well, to... Julia can... <laughs> Julia can plug I don't care. Shut up. Why can't I plug mine? <laughs> can I just, can I just apologise, please, to all our TV viewers? I apologise profusely. That might be a nice little learner, Jim. <laughs> Look, if you want to earn some quick money, go mug an old lady or rob a bank or become a stockbroker. And now, review. And welcome to review. Well, this week I've been to see the punk band Zig Zig Sputnik in concert. What were they like, Rory? Well, Tony, to tell you the truth, I didn't think the music was very good, oh. but I have to say that the makeup and the costumes and the lighting were absolutely worse. <laughs> now, you've been looking at uh, a few Christmas books, haven't you? That's right, I have. What's the pick of them for you? Well, my personal favourite has got to be the new Nigel Rees graffiti book. It's a very clever idea. What he's done is he's taken down a lot of the very funniest graffiti from toilet walls and uh, he's put it in the book. That is brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I suppose he has an endless supply of material then. Uh, yeah, well, obviously he's used up a lot of the funniest material in his first 14 graffiti books. Uh, but nevertheless, there's uh, a lot of really good stuff, uh, like this one. Uh, Angela is a slag. So, uh, <laughs> very funny. Um, uh, very nice one here. Um, Gary has crabs. Oh, no, I haven't signed Gary. <laughs> um, and my own uh, personal favourite, Barry is a bender. <laughs> and, of course, there is one other special kid song for Christmas, one which I think we'd like to do for you now, Rory. Sure. <laughs> Santa Claus and his pals are bringing joy for boys and girls. He's on his way on his Santa sleigh. Right, that is it. Oh, come on. Jimmy, Jimmy, what are you doing? Bloody Claus. Well, then. Let's go and join Play Away, shall we? Bloody hell. You've been loved by a lot of you. Leave it out! Bloody shambles, the whole thing. Jimmy! I'll never work on this program again! Go on, shove off! Spit off signals. I don't need bloody supermarkets next. Look at this, not here. They're underage. Smoking drugs. Bloody shambles. Shut up! 
Bugger off! Labour councils. Only the under the Conservatives. At the bloody. <laughs> 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 bloody Conservatives! Give us all man river! Next we have a bloody Julia Hill's doll. It walks, it talks, it okay. plays STP and drives a bloody Peugeot 205. <laughs> well, I'm off. Have enough. I'm going to work on the Glory Oliford show or something like that. It's a bit harder. Sell my guitar in the dock. Yeah, he's a funny old bloke, isn't he? <laughs>